Hey everyone, this is Steve Angus, and uh, today I'm going to tell you how to make um, a high pressure tank to a low pressure tank. Uh, the tank that I'm using is the 56 cubic inch 4500 psi Empire tank. Um, when you first purchase it, it'll come as a high pressure, but as you guys may uh, or probably do know, um, some markers act a lot better with a uh, low pressure kit. So, uh, when purchasing this uh, tank, and most tanks should come with a low pressure kit with them, but um, and uh, I'm gonna open this here. It'll it comes in a little bag just like this. It has um, it should have ten shims in it, a couple extra O rings, a couple springs, a new pin, a couple screws. Um, okay, so anyways, uh, it'll come with that. Um, you're going to need your Allen key. For, uh, there's two uh, screws here, one and two. Um, you're going to have to remove those uh, first off. Um, also, make sure before you do any of this that there's no air in your tank. You should be able to, if you take, um, if you don't have anything to take the pressure out of your tank, um, then take an Allen key and push it onto the little, uh, the little thing sticking out, the little, like, um, a valve, just push it in and you'll hear the air come out and sit there for a minute and let it come out. Um, you make sure that there's no air in this tank. You could seriously hurt yourself if you don't. So um, yeah. Alright, so you want to remove those screws first. Completely take them out and uh, then we can carry on from there. I do believe though that I stripped this. I... Yeah, all right. So take this one out. And this uh, this works as a uh, twist cap. Um, once you unscrew them. Oh, here we go. Um, once you unscrew these, the cap will untwist just like so, very easily, it's not tight. Unscrew it. And you'll have, if you look inside, um, like this, you can just put this away. You don't need this. Um, you're going to pull on this little piston here. Because you got your piston in here with your um, with your shims on it. So, sh um, so anyways, you want to pull that out. Just wiggle it. It'll come right out. All right. Make sure you don't lose anything on here. It's, everything's very important. So, um, in this, you're gonna have the little uh, valve piece that you were pushing down. Inside the piston, there's there's your spring, and then you have your shim the um, this piston with your shims on it. Um, now the difference between a high pressure and a low pressure is only about one shim difference. Um, the low pressure has ten shims, the high pressure has nine shims um, in the uh, Empire tank. So when you first take it out, it should have nine shims on it, and then in this pack, it'll have ten. So um, pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to remove the shims from the piston, just like that, and, uh, and then the way that you put them on is uh, you just, you make, you're making, um, they're going to cup each other, okay, so, uh, so let's say these are the two shims, they're slightly bowl shaped. You're going to put them like this. You don't want them going in so they fit perfectly with each other. You want them going out like that, uh, like um, uh, so that there's a little gap in between. So you got to make sure you do that. The first one that you put on, um, hold the uh, piston like this and put it so the bowl shape is facing down like this. So place that on and then the next one, do the opposite. Opposite. And you're going to do that. We have four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all you have to do. You put those ten on. Make sure you keep all the other pieces because you can use the other shims in if one of these, if you lost one or whatever. It's not like they're different shims. It's just that you need ten on the low, nine on the high. That's the difference. Um, and then to put it back in, place your spring back in the piston. Then place the back, um, the back end down in this. Make sure you can push this down. Okay, yeah, the spring is in there. Everything is in place. You're gonna line this up with the hole so it goes right through. And just give. There you go. Just put, just hold that into place. And then you want to screw this back on to your tank. Screw that cap on. And then you're gonna uh, once the cap stops spinning, it will uh, perfectly align you to where the um, like because the, all these do they don't actually go in to anything they ju they're just pressing up against the metal so when it's tight you don't have to try to line it up with any holes or anything so um, now I'm just gonna replace these screws because that those ones are uh, stripping so just uh, screw in the one side. Uh, there we go. Oops. There we go. Screw the ones I didn't. Don't try to over tighten it or anything. You don't want it loose, but don't over tighten it to the point that you strip your screws. That's what I did last time, and I'm lucky I got it out. All right, tighten this one. You gotta make sure these are tight. You don't want any accidents or anything on the field. Uh, even though it does have to spin off, you know you don't want. You just don't want to take any chances. So yeah, you just tighten that, and there you have it. Your tank is now low pressure. Make sure you keep all of your kits. Change your O-rings regularly, and um, yeah, uh, let me know if I helped you out at all with this, or uh, if you need any more help with anything. But uh, thanks for tuning in.